Laz, the almighty queen of this house, stated. What was Angela's motive for killing these people, let alone being at the location where she supposedly planned to kill the teens? And as an almighty queen of this house, I mean my mom. Oh, sharing. Okay. <laughs> Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wasteland. And seeing as how I wasn't answered the first time, I'll ask the question again. What the hell was Angela's motive for killing these people? She had no purpose, she had no reason to be there, so why does anybody know? I do! whoop de frickin' do Does anybody besides the killer of this film know why? I like movies that make America look great. Like, Rambo, part three. Great film. That's not even the freaking question! Oh, sharing. Anyways, this is the sequel that was shot back-to-back -back with Sleepaway Camp 2 and never needed to exist. This time, Angela has joined a group of delinquents on their path to hopeful recovery while being undercover. And how does she go in undercover? Simple, just hit someone who semi looks like you with a dumpster truck and disguise yourself to, as a lookalike. Seems highly probable, right? This film was entertaining and all, but there wasn't even one likable character in the whole damn movie. Not even the people you're supposed to root for gave me any sense that they would deserve to live. Now, this film was severely cut by the MPAA, more so than Part 2, and I can see how this could have been even gorier than Part 2. Damn you, MPAA. You kill more likable characters in Part 2 in graphic ways than you did in Part 3. And I don't know if that's showing how much more ruthless you are, but seriously, I wanted to see these people in this movie die horribly. And they were cut deaths. Da fuck. I felt while watching this movie, I was actually re-watching the first movie, all of its mean spirit, attitude, and hate, and it's way too much like the first installment. Which is why I'm giving it the exact same score as they gave the original. Overall, I give Sleepaway Camp 3 Teenage Wasteland a 2.5 out of 5. No matter how awesome the subtitle is and how gory it could have been, I still feel this is one of the weaker entries in the series. But it practically goes downhill from here, so wouldn't that make it one of the more stronger points in the series? I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe. Oh, sharing.